Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Marvel Legends series, Marvel, Spider-Man, Maximum Venom, Miles Morales, and this is from the Venom Pool Build-A-Figure, and it comes in that typical Marvel Legends series style packaging, but it has that nice venomized effect to it, so all the other venomized figures had this white box with like the symbiote goo all over so this will look great on a wall if you're an inbox collector on both sides of the box we got miles all venomized leaping at you and it looks awesome you got the symbiote goo all over here it's coming off his head but i love how they did like the hands and the fingers it has like a very wild and still a Spider-Man feel to it, especially that hand up there. In the back of the box, we have the Venomized Miles Morales posed very horribly. Got some read-up information, so feel free to pause if you want to read it. And then we have everybody you have to collect in the wave to build Venom Pool. Miles comes with the left arm of Venom Pool, and he comes with a grippy hand as well. This thing is ginormous. And just to give you guys an idea, like, this thing is so huge. Here's the Miles figure that he came with. It's, if not... It's probably equal, if not more, plastic than the actual figure that it came with. Now, Miles does not come with any effect pieces, no alternate hands, alternate heads. He just comes with this little bitty figure of himself. But the head sculpt is phenomenal. Again, I love that open mouth with the sculpted teeth and everything. They just need to work on the jaw seam. Uh, I love how his spider web on his head is actually turning into more of like a reddish vein sculpt throughout the figure. And what's even great about it is those ve that vein work sculpted in. Got the logo still on his back. Got the vein work going throughout his arms. Logo on his chest. Very clean looking. Then we get into my favorite parts. And this is just like the phage figure. The hands, man. The hands are, it's got the gray in the palm. But these fingers, they're not like claws. But they're creepily elongated hands. And they're they're just creepy looking I, I mean i don't know if it's if it's you know just me but i mean i feel like they're just something that you'd see from a, a person that'd come out of the shadows like in a horror movie or something or it's pretty crazy and then uh, what what i'm not a fan of is they're like super super gummy like they're really rubbery hands so it's like I, i'm not a, I, i'm not a fan of that and then we get down his legs everything is just casted in that like grayish sort of pearlescent color plastic that we get to his feet feet are sculpted pretty monstrous they got like the vein work on them as well but i'm not a fan of these feet because they are also really gummy when it comes to articulation with this guy it's a typical marvel legend style articulation but it's pretty awesome like his head can go down that far it's on a disc and ball and then it can go up that far this amount of articulation and there's no really like lollipop feel to it like I guess if you angle it that way a little bit but not much tons of attitude going on there his arm can go up quite a bit bicep swivel swivel <laughs> swivel uh double double jointed elbow we get the wrist rotation and the wrist bend and when you bend it these are gummy hands so it feels a little weird when you're trying to bend it then let me go ahead and get this arm down he has cool little spikes I didn't point those out before they have like little elbow spikes so let's get his arms out of the way ab crunch crunch down that far no gap wow wow okay going back spider-man like the logo tries to go back but yeah miles has no gap in him like why they why can't they do that on other figures uh he's got the horrible bookshelf hip this this i can't stand he can do the splits this far, thigh cuts. He can do a field goal kick, double jointed elbow or double jo These are knees, Arthur. These are knees. Double jointed knees. We got the boot cut right there, which again it breaks the sculpt looking weird. So you gotta really be careful when you're taking photos or posing them if you don't want it to look like that. Then the feet. Amazing pivoting as always. But because these are rubber feet, you've really gotta push them and it feels like it's gonna break. Every time, because these are like rubbery feet, and you're trying to move 
a hard peg that's like in the middle of it. This figure is pretty badass when it comes to his crouch game. Like, he's such a small, tiny little figure as is, but when you crouch him down, the gangliness of his fingers and stuff just really pop. And, I mean, you can see, like, it, it, it's like a like Golem from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's awesome. This is really, really cool. Um, I, I wish he would have came with alternate hands, effect pieces, or, you know, alternate head or something. But, I mean, the, the fact that you can get them all super slouched down and creepy like that is awesome. And just to give you guys sort of a scale idea of how small this guy is, and this is with him all scr like crouched down, I'm going to bust out a uh, grocery gang figure. And here, I'll just sort of place it in, well, I just knocked him over. So, that doesn't really work. But, like, side by side... You can see that that Miles is a very very tiny figure. Now here we have Miles and Phage side by side. They're wave mates. I really wanted just to show you the scale of you got like the adult body versus the young body, and you can really see that size difference. When it comes to a venomized Miles Morales, Hasbro nailed it. They just didn't give us hands or effect pieces or alternate heads or anything else, and it's probably because he came with that giant limb of a build a figure piece. I just wish they would have gave us a little bit extra, but the figure's awesome. The articulation's great, and it's a great-looking figure. So if you're collecting all the symbiotes and you're a big uh, Venom Carnage fan, you know, these are definitely must-haves to have in your collection. It's a solid figure, in my opinion. And uh, this one is actually going to my buddy Antonio Towns' grandson. He's a Miles fan, and, you know, I picked up this set from Nate's Toys and Collectibles. They were on sale, and uh, I, I just wanted to build Venom Pool, so... You know, I'm helping people out with figures and stuff like that. And for you guys watching, I'm sure you guys are like, well, when are we going to get a chance to get some, you know, chances to get some free swag? Uh, basically, I'm accumulating some stuff and I will be doing a giveaway. So just keep watching. And I'm just really trying to find a fun and creative way to do a giveaway. Not just like comment down below, give me a like or some BS like that. I want to have it fun and interactive. So that's why it's taking me so long to do a giveaway but I will be doing a giveaway so definitely keep on watching and uh, that really sums up my unboxing and review of Marvel Legends series Venomized Miles Morales if you guys like what you saw please hit that like button and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button as it'll mean the world to me if you want to stay in the know with when I'm posting up videos hit that silver bell notification and make sure you guys go check out Nate's Toys and Collectibles the link is down below that's where I got a lot of these figures for a discounted price because he was selling them on sale it was lower than retail so I had to pounce on it so definitely keep an eye out at his store and i want you guys to most importantly have the best luck hunting keep on collecting and have a beautiful day